This is tutorial number eight for the foundation course. We're going to be talking, it's going to be a short tutorial. We're going to be talking about transmission lines. Transmission lines <coughs> connect between your transmitter and your antenna and there are a couple of different types of lines you need to know about. The transmission line is here. The way you connect the output of your transmitter to the antenna is with a transmission line. The purpose of a transmission line is to transfer all of the power from the transmitter to the antenna with a minimum loss. There are a couple of types of transmission line that you need to know about for your foundation. These three are all coaxial lines. They have other names like RG58, RG213, uh, uh, etc. But you do not need to know those names. You just need to be able to identify coaxial line. And those three are coaxial lines. Coaxial line is also unbalanced line. The reason why it's called unbalanced line is because if you look at it from the end, you'll see a round cable and a shield inside the cable. That's the shield here and there. And in the center there's a wire. Now the resistance, or better the impedance, which is very much like resistance, between each side of that line, this is ground, this is the earth, and because of the unsymmetrical shape of a coaxial line, the resistance or impedance between the shield and ground is about zero ohms because the shield is actually connected to ground at the radio transmitter. But the impedance between the center conductor and ground is not zero ohms, it's a very high impedance. Uh, and so for the, because of the different impedances between the shield and the center conductor to ground, we call it unbalanced line. So coaxial cable is unbalanced line. The advantage of coaxial cable is that you can run it anywhere. You can run it down the, um, the cavity of your uh, brick veneer home. You can run it uh, in pipe under the ground, you can do just about anything with unbalanced line. That's coaxial cable. The disadvantage of coaxial cable is that it, it it is not the best quality line you can get. Parallel line, which we'll talk about in a moment, is a far better quality, but it's hard, <coughs> harder to keep the balance with parallel line. We'll talk about parallel line in a minute. For your foundation, Transmission line goes from the end of the transmitter to the antenna. Its function is to do so with minimum loss. And these three are coaxial lines. And coaxial lines are also known as unbalanced lines. The other sort of cable we need to know about is this one, where you have two wires parallel to each other. For that reason, it is called parallel transmission line. Parallel transmission line is balanced line, unlike coaxial cable, which is unbalanced. Allow me to explain to you why it's called balanced line. Here's our earth, our ground again. This is dirt, ground, your lawn, whatever. And let's draw an end on view looking at parallel line we'd have two circles because we've got two conductors and there's an insulator between them. This is the insulator here. Sometimes this is called ladder line. The proper name is parallel because it looks like a ladder if you extend it. But this is parallel line. Like coaxial cable, parallel lines have codes uh, depending on the type of line that it is. But for your purposes, you just to know, need to know that you can use as a transmission line between your transmitter output and your antenna, you can use either coaxial cable or parallel line. Parallel line has the same impedance between each leg. Z is the symbol for impedance. Think of it as resistance if you like, because I know you haven't done impedance with the um, 
foundation course. The impedance is the same between each leg and ground. That's why it is called balanced line. So that's about it for transmission lines. Transmission line loss is measured in decibels. You don't need to know that. Um, but it is important when you do set up your amateur station that you actually talk to someone and find out what is the best type of cable uh, for you, you to use in your situation. Because sometimes you may be in a situation where you uh, would be better placed to use parallel line than you would coaxial line and vice versa. That's it for transmission lines in the foundation course. I'll see you in the next tutorial. tutorial. Cheers for now.